What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing week six of our Washington football team franchise. It's going to be against the Eagles. We, it, it, Eagles? Yikes. It's going to be against the Giants. And of course, uh, we just came off of a pretty good game. And, you know, the biggest thing that's been an issue for us is the defenses, right? We've been struggling against most teams' defenses. However, the Giants, they might have the worst defense in the league. Bottom three for sure. So, this should be a very favorable matchup for us, and we also have a very high chance of getting a breakout or two from last week. Also, somebody suggested while we were streaming, because hey, we're streaming right now, which once again... But like I was trying to say, uh, Bo Scarborough was suggested to be potentially a fullback for us. A lot better blocking stats than I would have thought for a running back. Of course, he's huge, and uh, he's a guy I've always tried to like make a starter... This could be that time. Could be, you know, our fullback currently, who's not even that bad, has played really bad. Unfortunately, he's played really poorly. So, um, I don't feel like we should start him. Maybe we'll give him another chance if uh, Bo is really bad. Oh, God. What do we do here? The only way we can save this roster from this cut one player is if you like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe... That, that question will go away. We won't even have to worry about it. It'll go away. We don't even have to cut anyone. It's not true, but... <sighs> uh, desperation's hilarious. But here's the thing. We're about to sim, and please, one breakout. That's all. Even if it's Tom and, Thomas Davis. I don't care, dude. So I know I've been neglecting the streams a little bit, but tonight we'll be doing a stream on twitch.tv slash Jerome PK or at least uh, probably two hours at 10 p.m. Central. I'd stream more. I just don't know what to stream because... Really, the only thing you guys like to seem to watch is the Washington franchise and our rebuild. So, uh, you know, I don't really have anything like the majority, like 99% of, probably 99.9% .9 of Twitch uh, streaming is literally Ultimate Team. So, if I'm not playing that, I really don't know what to stream. So, maybe uh, Washington franchise uh, against the Eagles and then probably like a Fall Guys hour or two. And maybe we'll do that again tomorrow and then the next day. But regardless, uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Oh, we do have a breakout, and that breakout is Mr. Ruben Sandwich Foster. That's the guy. Coach, I got to commend you on the game plan last week. The front seven absolutely dominated their blockers, and it was a hell of a one of the best performances I've ever had. If I could put together another game like that against the G-Men, it'll go a long way towards establishing me as a leader on this team. Hold the Giants to less than 250 total yards or get Ruben Foster a pick, a forced fumble, tackle for a loss, or a sack. Now... I think it's time to re-sign this man. I already was saying, you know, after that game he had, the performance he had, uh, definitely re-sign him. The question is, do we give him a four-year deal or a three-year? Great hit power, solid speed. Coverage is lacking a little bit. Well, man coverage is lacking a little bit. His zone coverage is actually pretty good. He's a pretty solid player. Do we give him the four-year or the three-year? Ruben Foster likes the duration, but he wants to make money during the... We did give you money, dude. Okay, man. That sucks, because, you know, if we get him to star, he's going to want even more, probably. I'm super happy that the field looks this way. This is, you know, this is what a real field looks like, if you're wondering. Psh, what is this? Like, the lines aren't painted. Is that Gandy Golden? Speaking of, it's McLaurin. It'd be nice if we can actually beat our guys consistently. We are, I mean, that's Chase Young on Moss. This receiving group looks a little rough. We, we might legitimately make a trade soon. Why would he stop? Good job, Terry. At least we have footmarks, you know? We got a little bit of something. Oh, what a throw! Doesn't really matter, but, like, what a throw. Last second. So we get four out of five again, which is, is nice, because last time it worked out. Let's see if we can get four out of five or better on defense now. Back it up, Terry. Oh, wow, there's no one there. Ruben, did we just give you a contract for you to do stuff like that? I'm pretty sure that was Ruben's coverage. We had the purple out there. This We had Chase Young right here. I can, I'll try to change my schedule for the one and only Slimzy. MBS for speed. Yeah, there's some options. I think we might try a manual haul more this game. There you go, Ionitis. Crushing it. Back it up. Nah, I can't get there. I don't want to hit people, right? I don't want to hit stick my own teammates. However, at the end of the day, I think we need to force a fumble. Otherwise, we're just not going to play defense. It's just not going to happen. Get that. Fuller. Wow. Fuller exists after all. 
Jeez, man, what a play. So it looks like we had another four to five, right? If I'm not mistaken. Well, two out of three, same difference. Four to five, two and three, whatever. All right, Gandy Golden, you're moving down to number four now as Emmanuel Hall scoots to the top. Six, three, fast as hell. Injury prone, probably going to die. What's the game plan for Saquon Barkley? The game plan is to hope he tears his ACL. Nothing. Who said that? I don't know what I just said. All right, Thaddeus Moss with a vertical threat gets to 64 overall. His ability is to disappoint me with his upgrade. Terry McLaurin, uh, deep threat is already pretty damn good. Oh, Terry McLaurin is good, isn't he? Uh, what's the one for catching traffic? We kind of need catching. I think slot's the one. We're going to go to slot. Goes to an 85 overall. Gets himself plus two to catching traffic, one to catching. That's, that's what I needed. I need that catching to be even higher, and it's looking good. He's just going to be a finesse guy. Plus two to finesse, which puts him now at 84 finesse move. Maybe he'll become a dual threat guy by the end of his career. Obviously, he's going to upgrade quite quickly. Deep threat now for Mr. Steven Sims. I'll take that release. All right. So looking at the Giants, of course, they have a lot of potential. Tons of potential. Oh, relax yourself, Daniel. No need to run up on us like that. Giants have a ton of potential. And I'm really hoping they don't realize that potential against us. Of course, uh, they are 3-2 and two already, so two of the divisions... Oh my, what was that? Please don't let that happen in the game. Uh, two of the divisions underdogs, the guys that are you know expected to do badly, have top five picks, doing pretty damn well for themselves. 3-2, and two, obviously one team is going to drop, or maybe both. Could be a tie, you never know. But here we go, going against those Giants. Uh, they actually do have quite the receivers. Definitely a little worried about that. You know, Tate's obviously great. Slayton, he's uh, developing himself pretty damn well. Uh, Sterling Shepard, one of the best in the slot. Evan Ingram, a fast target, potentially their best target. Oh, my Lord, Golden Tate with a game last week. Uh, a hard guy to keep up with, you know. We got Ruben Foster on the re-signing. He's got a uh, breakout scenario today. There's a lot going for him, but that could be too much pressure for all we know. So it's going to be a tough one. E Evan Ingram, he's going to be the guy to watch today. Of course, the biggest one to watch is Saquon. The one that we can't really account for is Daniel Jones. Is he going to play a good game? Is he going to play a bad game? Something tells me there's going to be a big injury in today's game. Hopefully, it's not ours. I don't want anyone to get injured, but there's something telling me somebody is going to freaking die in this game. Daniel Jones, oof. <laughs> we, maybe we do know how he's going to play because that looks pretty good to me. 1,200 yards, 15 touchdowns, 6 picks. Yikes. We're going to blitz early because we want to get them away from running. Is that is their fullback name Plant? It could either say Plant. Maybe it says Flint. I don't know. Words are hard. Could they stop? Ch is this ultimate team? Slant cheesers, man. All right. There's going to be a tough one. Saquon's going to be not left on his own, but oof. Bring him down. Oh, he almost didn't fall. That would have been bad. If that says Penny, I'm blind as hell. Of course, Fabi Moreau getting the nod today. And over the middle, there's a big find. Huge hit by Collins. That's what we need to see. Very big find to Sterling Shepard there, but Collins absolutely popping, dudes. Initis gets the push, but he gets the help, so we can't actually break free. Gaining eight yards. The Giants are moving fast. They are moving at a hurry some pace. Collins gets to the line of scrimmage. You never know when he gets a free pop on someone, which would be brutal for them. We should have committed there. We need a freaking... Ooh, Saquon gets it. We need a uh, you know a turnover or a tackle for a loss. Can't get off the line. Saquon free as it gets. Really not doing anything well himself. But of course the blocking really solid. Goal line might be a little extreme, but uh, I think it's worth it. I think you do it. Oh, hit as he's thrown. And unfortunately, speaking of the man himself, Levine, six foot eight, Toy Lolo gets the walk-in touchdown. You had to do it. There's no other way you're stopping Saquon. There's no other way. All right, Haskins coming off of a very, very impressive win. Going to have a tough one on his hands today as he's already down. There goes McLaurin to the outside, and he catches that. What a throw, dude. Holy crap. That is an amazing throw and maybe even a better catch. They look like they have the outside cover, but if we can go right down the middle where the center is, Love might have a look. Uh, kinda. I'd really wish the left guard who pulled away would have actually done something. Emmanuel Hall on the outside, the new guy in town. Take that inside look to Thaddeus. 
Got to get those throws in there quicker. I think that's what's really helping us last week into this week. Getting the throws out on time is the most important thing. I know it's hard for us to trust these receivers. It's going to cost us some picks this season, I think. But sometimes when we believe the route has the beat, we have to just believe in it. And holy crap. Golden's a god, apparently. Inside zone, Mr. Bryce Love from the 18. Going to take it about as well as he can. Gets it, you know, pretty far. Almost the first down. Gibson up the middle. Really good play. Gibson runs over the free safety, but taken down by, I believe, Jabril Peppers on the play. Uh, what do we want to throw here? Oh, Terry McLaurin burns it, and it's a terrible throw by Haskins. Would have been three for three on the drive, and instead completely whiffs the throw, which is so easy. And Moss is open. Moss gets the touchdown instead. Regardless, we get the touchdown. No errors tied up. Off the edge. Oh, my young. Chase Young just absolutely... He almost did a clowny. What the heck? He made it clap. What do you even do if you're that guy? Like, look, look where his head is. All right, Ruben. Let's get you that pick, buddy. That was a great play by us. Ooh, Ruben almost took the ball off him. Oh, Bo oh, Collins picked that ball off third and inches. They're not going to get it. Normally, you would see them go for it. I didn't even know it was third. It's a fourth and inches. Oh, we got to come up. We actually got to come up. They could fake it. From the 35, not the worst decision in the world. One, you know, yard. That's surprising. They punted it. Screw the double move. Uh, Moss is just going to go straight down the middle. They might cover this, but maybe not. Oh, they didn't. Moss holds on. What a catch. Okay, we've seen a couple of drops, specifically from guys like Yandy Golden. On plays like that, and he holds on. What a play. Gibson right behind the right tackle would be the best place. Yikes, dudes. Blake Mart. That scared me a tiny bit there. Moss, please stay in bounds. Damn it. Gain of nothing. That's harsh. That was harsh. Third and 11 now after that drop. Sims inside. Holds on. Our guys are clutching up here, especially on third down. That was clutch, dude. All right, Moss is our... You're the, you're our guy here, but they are blitzing. I told you Moss is our guy, and he holds on. Our guys are holding on nicely here. And we're not really giving Emmanuel Hall much of a chance yet. I just threw that away. I had Emmanuel Hall coming back. It just didn't work out. Everyone took too long to get there. Start of the second quarter, all right. Bryce Love on the inside. Ah, we Oh, nice little move for Bryce to get a little bit extra, but not great. All right, here we go. Slot drive. McLaurin on the outside could get that comeback route if we have the time. That's a tough one. And Sims holds on. Sims, ever since moving to the slot receiver role, has been crushing it, dude. All right, cover three. Ruben, we need this. We need a freaking pick or something, dude. Third and four. Double move on the inside for the tight end. Got to come back down last second. And that's going to be a coverage sack for Mr. Chase Young, who I believe has five or six now on the season. Five. Nice. All right, Bryce Love on the inside. The audibles don't look great, so we're just going to keep it. Oh, I'm going to need a block from number 65. And are we starting Leary? Is that Leary? Maybe Ronald Leary's not actually bad, so. And that almost was picked. Really good. Well, Really good illegal contact, really, because uh, Moss was not supposed to be touched there that late. The in-cutting route should work. We're just not getting the separation we need. I mean, we're forced to just throw that in there. Their pass rush is actually starting to get to us a little bit here. Fourth and three from midfield. Um, Mathematically, if we give up the ball here, we should have time with the ball before half. Whereas if we kick deep and they have a perfect drive, they can get the final score on top of it. Steven Sims is our guy. Hits the throw. Steven Sims tries to break a tackle. Can't. Gets to the 34. Great decision. We're going to try to continue that passing game success with more passing, basically. Little throw again. Sims going to gain about... Oh, falls forward. Gains about 15, actually. Do I trust it? Nope. Please. Good 50-50 ball. That's fine. Uh, Sprinkle can get out there. It'll be a one-on-one -on -one for Gibson, I think. Well, it would have been if number 50, 76 would have done his job. He completely missed. That's a little rough, and Hall holds it on. Holds on to it. 
the first throw to Emmanuel Hall, I believe. Hall on the run. He's got that speed, and there's a face mask for Blake Martinez. Great job, Blake. You're just an absolute god. From the one QB sneak, hasn't worked all season. This is the D-line you'd think it would work against, and you would have thought wrong. Screen from the two-yard line. Who sees that coming? That's the real question. The thing is, if they do see it coming, I don't know where the hell we throw it. They don't see it coming. Bryce Love gets the touchdown. Third passing touchdown of the game for Haskins. Okay, we're doing well. Oh, they're going nappies. Good night, boys. Definitely, Cam. Without a doubt. That's literally what I've always, what I've been saying anyways. Oh, right down the middle. Collins with the pop. We're halfway through this game, and honestly, Ruben Foster has not sniffed a single statistic he needs to get to uh, star development. We're going to blitz here, and we're going to hope Ruben can get a gush. Here it is. Ruben! Ruben Foster is now star development. Don't you damn worry. Tackle for a lost master himself. Ruben Foster. There you go. Back. Double move on the inside. Really good adjustment by Daniel Jones. Throws it back to the right. They look like they're going to run here with the wide receiver. Oh. Uh-oh. What a play. Matthew Ioannidis. We are so glad. We've been suggested so many times from the media. To get rid of him, I don't know why we would have. So glad we haven't. He has been everything we've wanted on the D-line and then some. Chase Young on the outside. Oh, huge hit by Thomas. We're getting some pops in. We haven't forced a fumble yet, but we're, we're getting some plays. The big thing in the second half, the big goal we're going to be aiming for is more runs. We've got to run the ball more and better. We got stuck. Chase Young finally gets free, but not before Duran Payne. Bringing the Duran Payne to Daniel Jones. Third and 14, time to drop back. Bucks like Shady McCoy too much. It's a weird thing to like. Retirement squad rolling out. Oh, there you go, Matthew. Forcing the issue. Daniel Jones on the run. Going to find Evan Ingram. Not a bad target to find there. We're going to call a timeout because I feel like we can trust our offense a little bit, especially against a lesser defense. Call a timeout. They can get their 10 points, and maybe we can extend, maybe even get to 24 before half. Just got to be careful. Don't fumble the ball. Don't throw a pick. Sims is open. Good throw. Left foot barely in. Close. Y corner. Let's block. I think Love could actually get open on that if he decides to hitch to go outside there. Ooh, I almost just took in, I almost just took in that. Almost took it. Oh, Sims. Okay, we didn't really get the yards I wanted to, but at least we got out of bounds. There's no one open. Throw it away. That's a late hit. We're going to go with another screen. Worked on third down. Was it third down we had it on? Another successful screen. Bryce Love. We're mixing the screens in kind of nicely. To the 46, we've saved both of our timeouts. Maybe a little bit more of a chance to get it down the middle of the field. We'll see. We should have taken that out. Why is he moved... Ah, oh, Manuel, Manuel, Manuel. Why are you moving there? Why are you moving upfield? Just wait for us to see you, dude. You are our last progression. You do not move upfield on that. That is terrible. Washington, look at that logo. What a logo. 21 to 10. Of course, we've had a couple more turnover takeaways on them. You got to kind of ignore that one pick they just had because at the end of the day, it doesn't really reflect the way the game is gone because they didn't get to turn that into points. So, I mean, I suppose, in fairness, it did take away points from us. We were definitely going to score on that drive, but it didn't add points to them. So, a little bit of a misleading stat there. Gibson up the middle again. We're going to take it to the left, though. Gibson slips away to the gain of nine to the 39-yard line. Play action. Get the block from Moss. I don't know if I can trust any of this. Emmanuel Hall. I'll take it. What a catch! Emmanuel Hall with the speed! All the way down to the 24. That was risky. I did not... Like, why is that guy sitting underneath there? Jesus. All right, Stark, halfback, running back, halfback thingy. I threw that too early. Oh, no, I didn't because Blake Martinez is Blake Martinez. Misses, gain down to the 17. Catch that, Sims. Yeah, it's huge. Huge deflection there. Wow. Third and two. Time to ch test out Bo Scarborough. Peterson running behind that man and easily gets it. Good job. 
We're basically using Peterson as our, like, Marshawn Lynch in Madden. Terry McLaurin, that's a touchdown. Terry McLaurin in for the score. Offense is absolutely smashing it. Look at the backflip. So smooth. Look at that, man. Inspirational as hell. Fuller, good tackle. That was just, that was a strange one. I don't like that. Please stream. Oh, now who's being a gentleman? Please. <laughs> Okay, dude. Oh, good play. Who's that, Thomas? Outside, wide open. Davis gets towards. I don't even, once again, who is Davis? Let's go for a power move here. That didn't work at all. Oh, Collins. You got to hit stick him. Oh, wow. Got to give it to the AI for being smart. Did you see the quickness on Daniel Jones? You guys are legends. Oh, Chase forcing the issue. We covered it perfectly. Backed up in time. Troy Apke with the sack. We're going to back everyone up here a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean fully. Damn it. I can't get off there. Matthew Ioannidis gets to play, though. Basically a cover check. Good stuff. Fourth and 31. We're smoking the Giants. We'll still run it. Peterson's that guy. Blake Martinez. Yeah, sure. Like I said, I feel like juking doesn't even exist this Madden. Risk that hard. But, ooh, did he not catch it? Let's see what happened. I went with the aggressive because I didn't think we were actually going to get open there. Did he drop it on the way out? Is that what happened? Like, it looks like he doesn't have it, but, like, I think in the end, uh, it was ground force for enough. Oh, here you go. And he misses it by a mile. Of course, it's going to be a flat. This could be a safety. Is it not a safety if I'm in the end zone when they commit a flag? I'm almost certain this is a safety. The flag was right here. I'm pretty sure that's a safety. Oh my. Oh. oh. <laughs> Duran Payne. Up the gut. Just smoked him. Where has Duran Payne been all this season? Oh my lord. This man's got some freaking skills. And we miss hard with that. I just sold. We're blitzing a lot out here, but it's forcing to throw it early. We might put Holcomb in next game. It's the, it's the time of of changing things up. Foster Moreau, Fabian Moreau. Damn it. He's not a tight end. Don't tell me they're actually going to run here. I'm not ready for a run at all. They run. We're screwed. There you go. Good tackle, whoever you are. Aaron Colton. All right, so the Giants here obviously making the smart call, quote-unquote, because if they get this field goal in, they do give themselves a chance to make the comeback. 28-13 to 13 will be the score so far. All right, let's try to run the ball a little bit. We haven't really done that too successfully. I also can't really tell how good Emmanuel Hall's played because he's had a couple of big plays, but hasn't really done anything crazy. Gibson, nice little truck stick. It's about four or five. All right, Emmanuel Hall, time to, time to test your worth. Manuel Hall. Oh my, that was not a good test. He got the first though. Do do the wheel. Ah, let's just go quick throw to Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin gets the first down. Dwayne's had a pretty good game. That pick sucks, but all right, I see you. Gibson, he's kind of 50-50 in the trucks. I really don't know what the best moves are, honestly. Oh, a manual. Manuel Hall absolutely torched that guy for eight. Just make the game better. <laughs> That's all we all say. That's it. Got nothing. Terry McLaurin would have had so many more yards if he didn't get bumped, but he takes it all the way left anyways. Probably does help that we've been playing lesser talent. It's going to be something interesting once we play next week, which I think might be the Eagles. There goes Gibson. And he's trying to fight. He can't get the touchdown. One of the bigger runs of the season. Oh, my. Gibson's trying. Damn, Peppers blew that play up. Terry McLaurin, touchdown. Here we go. We're starting to get a little, once again, back-to-back -back games, not really playing great defenses. The Rams, they've got a few players, but they have a lot of holes. As far as the Giants go, they have pretty much all holes across the board. But still, last two games have been great. Limiting the picks, lots of yards, lots of touchdowns. Huge stuff. Oh, crap. We just got torched. Running back's open, but that's fine. Oh, my God. 
Reuben Foster, my dude. All right, Sweat, we need you to start going. Like, Sweat was the guy at first. Oh, here he goes. Excuse me? See, the thing is, I think they're going to have to tweak it a little bit this year. There is the, the fact that when you're throwing like that, when you're throwing it away, it should be a fumble sometimes. Your decision to throw it when you're getting hit, right? So when he's throwing like that with his hand being taken down by the pass rusher, a lot of the times that's going to be a fumble because he's not protecting the ball. So I think we need to see more. Uh... Oh, that's a screen. Chase, damn it. Darby, oh, we got burned. Yikes. There goes Young. Damn it, Young has to play against so many players. Wow, he catches that. Good play for Golden Tate there. Back in the end zone could be open. Foster. Coverage sack for Ionitis. It is really good users with Foster. Totally deserves his uh, upgrade after that one. Pain on the double team. Can't get it going. Huge hit. Is that going to be a fumble? It's not. It's going to be a drop. Was that Landon? Landon Collins with an absolute pop. You know, I always like to play these games like we're we're losing. And that's what we teach our guys. Almost caught. Doesn't, though. So, uh, that's going to be another victory. We're going to run the ball a little bit here, I think. But, yeah, another victory. But, hey, we just smoked the Giants 35-13. to There was some times early in the first half where I thought maybe they'd have a chance to bounce back. They didn't take their opportunities. And uh, that first half, we were we were making great great plays pass ah jesus christ heaven <laughs> did you see that no need for the brightness oh my god all right brah appreciate you uh stopping by look at washington 400 plus offensive yardage one takeaway both teams had one takeaway we just we just scored more points daniel jones obviously unhappy because of course that's a it's a big game it's a divisional matchup and uh, that gives us a huge advantage over them. Is that back-to-back -back games with five touchdowns for Dwayne Haskins? Of course, going to try to ride high on that momentum, but these next couple of games are definitely going to be rough. Gibson, 5.2 per carry. Love, 2.5 only. Peterson, 1.5. Looking at receiving Sims with 105 and a touchdown. Terry McLaurin with another two-touchdown performance. Manuel Hall, a couple of decent plays, a couple of big plays. Thaddeus Moss had another touchdown. Bryce Love had a receiving touchdown at least. As far as defensively, Deron Payne with two. Chase Young with a sack and a half. And I believe was a forced fumble. No, it wasn't a forced fumble. I thought he did have one. As far as picks go, Kendall Fuller and Jabril Peppers each with a pick. And kick return, punt return, nothing really big to mention. Uh, we have Kendall Fuller and Deron Payne to upgrade and some other guys. We will wait till next week. Uh, but here we are with Mr. Breakout, Ruben Foster. Won't speak for anyone else on the team because they trash, but I'm happy with my performance this week. You know how the elite players always say the game started slow down for me? Yeah, slow down, man. Star development, 5,000 XP. Probably have some upgrades now for himself. But at the end of the day, we did our job. We got the win. Huge weight off our shoulders to 500 XP. We actually did do pretty well against Saquon in all, in all fairness. Uh, but anyways, that is going to be the video for week six against the Giants. Definitely happy about the performance in that game. On a little bit of a roll here, but of course, going against the Cowboys, even at home, is going to be a super tough task. They've got lots of talented players all across the field, so a little worried there, but I think we can still sneak out a W, and if we can't, it's okay. We expected this to be a loss. We just got to make sure we beat the Giants, beat the Lions, beat the teams that we expect to beat, because if we do that, we might be able to sneak out like an 8-8, eight, 9-7-ish eight, and seven -ish season Regardless, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, maybe leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. Maybe follow the Twitch channel at Jerome P. Care. Twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care. Second channel, P. Care Plays. Anyways, though, hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!